Hey everyone, this one is the fourth assignment of the week, uh, S22 on IXL. It's about point slope form, graphing an equation when the point slope form is given. So uh, there are several ways to do this, but the simplest, easiest one is knowing what a point slope form looks like and being able to extract the slope value from this equation and uh, a point on the line. If you can extract those numbers, then all you have to do is just pressing some buttons over here to graph uh, the line. So I'm going to start writing stuff over here and then I will clear everything to draw the line over here on the coordinate plane. So if you need to, make sure you take some notes. Let's get started. So the point slope form is in general is called y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1 in this case m is the slope and x1 m is the slope and x1 y1 is a point on the line So let's just figure those numbers out looking at this given equation. So the slope is easier. It's the number right out of the parentheses. So this is my slope. So m equals to 3. If you write this as a fraction, it's easier to apply when you graph a line. So rise is 3, run is 1. So which means up 3 right one positive number at the top means up negative number at the top means down positive in the bottom means right negative in the bottom means left as we went over this last week so i really hope that you remember this so that's what i'm gonna do this is my pattern but i need a point a starting point to be able to go up three right one up three right one so that point comes out of these two numbers. The one next to y is my y value. The one next to x is my x value. So let's just organize them. So And please realize that there are negatives in the formula already. So ignore those negatives when you extract the point on the line. So the x value is 1. The y value is 6. I'm not taking those negatives because they belong to the formula. They do not belong to the points. They do not belong to the numbers. So that's my point. Over 1, up 6, I will plot that point in. And then I will continue doing the slope. Up 3, right 1, and then plot another point. Probably the line is going to appear. Let's just test it out. So I'm going to remove that pen option over here. I will go over 1, up 6. That's my first point. And then I will do the slope. Go up 1, 2, 3, and then right 1. There we go. That's our line. And then we will submit this and then have another question. So I will move on to the next level to see if it's any different. Okay, there's another one. So real quick, let me just scroll down a little more. Okay, so the slope is this point over here. Slope is negative 2. I'm going to first write this as it is given. But you don't want to leave that negative in front of the fraction. Either use it for the top or use it for the bottom. It makes no difference. I usually use it for the top. That makes more sense to me for some reason. So negative number at the top, remember, means down. So if we go down to and write 1, that's our slope. But what about my starting point? So these numbers are going to tell me my starting point. But remember, uh, if you see a negative, it belongs to the formula. Just extract the number as a positive. What about if you see a positive number? So that means there's already a negative in the formula, and then there's another negative that belongs to the number. When they combine together, they become a positive. So to put it this maybe even simpler, just change the sign of whatever you see over there. So the number is going to be x comes first. Right next to x, I have 2. Change the sign. It's negative 2. 
that the other one is negative 6, it's going to come out of as, as positive. So that's my number. Uh, that's my point on the line. Negative 2, left 2, up 6. If you go left 2, up 6, that's my first point. And then I will do the slope. Go down 2, right here, and then right 3. 1, 2, 3. That would be my second point. The line would look like that wouldn't be the line. It's not even look like it's not even like a line. So it would look like this right here. Okay, let's see if the next level is close to 70. Nope. I guess that would be enough. Okay, let's just I just realized that the video is for six minutes or so. I can do another video, uh, another question over here. So Real quick, that's my slope. So m equals negative 4 over 1, which means down 4 and then right 1. Now let's find the point on the line, looking at the graph. The x value, change that sign. The y value change that sign okay start from that point over left 20 down 20 is my starting point and then i will go down four right one every single time one two three four and then right one so the line would look like something like this okay that's it for this video guys Thanks for watching, please like the video and subscribe to the channel to get notified about the upcoming videos and everything. Thanks for watching again and I will see you in another video.